What's up everyone, it's your boy RS. And um, the reason why I'm making this video is because I, I will be departing to uh, Costa Rica on May 12th. And um, I'm going to be making, as you guys can see by the title of this video, uh, The Lost Island of Costa Rica. Uh, I'm gonna make a documentary on the Lost Island of Costa Rica because uh, I remember, and I know it sounds crazy, but Costa Rica was an island. <laughs> it was an island in another reality. It was an island uh, southeast of Mexico and southwest of the Cayman Islands. And that's where Costa Rica was located. And for the one millionth time, I am not confusing uh, Costa Rica with Puerto Rico. I've seen that so many times. And if you're gonna, you know, if you're gonna leave that in a comment, I'm just gonna delete your comment. So please don't even say that I'm confusing it. Uh, you know, if you have seen any of the Mandela effect, the world geography changes, uh, you know, um, you know, in my reality, Costa Rica was an island. And, uh, you know, my stepmother happens to be from Costa Rica. Her father was from Costa Rica. And, you know, so now I had, you know, when I first learned that Costa Rica wasn't an island no more, um, I had asked her, hey, is Costa Rica an island or not? And she's like, no. And uh, that just blew my mind even more because now I'm speaking to a different different version of her. So everything is a different version. Uh, we're, we're totally on a new earth. Um, like on my past video, I, I made uh, the lost island of Gibraltar, just like John Boyle says in that video, uh, that we have arrived on a new earth. Yes, everything, this whole reality is a new earth for me. Every, there's a lot of different versions of everything. And so just because uh, it's a Mandela effect for me doesn't mean it's a Mandela effect for you. It also depends on, you know, when, what time you, you remember learning something. And it has to be a 100% memory of something. So Costa Rica being an island, an island in, the, in the Caribbean, it's a 100% it's a memory for me. And uh, you won't believe the amount of reality residue I found on Twitter, not just on Twitter, but also on websites. For my longtime subscribers, you know, I've shown a lot of reality residue. I'm going to bring back that series. And uh, you won't believe the amount of reality residue, uh, especially with the Jurassic Park movie. Um, the Jurassic Park movie was uh, supposedly filmed on Costa Rica and also Hawaii. And uh, there's a big, huge discrepancy of where the um, uh, discrepancy with the Jurassic Park movie and uh, and uh, where it was filmed in Costa Rica. And I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna come out with videos, you know, showing you guys what I what I specifically mean when I'm trying to explain to you guys. Um, I know I know it sounds crazy. It totally it. it it blows my mind to see Costa Rica and Central America. It blows my freaking mind all the time. Like, you know, if you remember all any geography changes, if you have watched any of my previous videos, if you have any of those memories, just know that I rem I knew I've always known Costa Rica be an island, and it's never been an island in this reality. And people are people. There's what I've come to learn is that you can't argue with uh, people that have uh, have always known something to be a certain way. Uh, because you're interacting with different levels of consciousness. You know, if, you, if you're experiencing the Mandela effect, and, and I'm telling you this is a 100% Mandela effect for me, of Costa Rica being an island, and I tell you that, and um, and you t and you and then you say no, it's always been part of Central America. Uh, you know, you know you have to have. If you experience that Mandela effect and you don't experience this Mandela effect, doesn't mean it's not a Mandela effect. It just means that I'm from a reality where, you know, where that was true. So uh, the Mandela effect has proven that all different levels of consciousness come from different realities. There's, this is a multiverse. There's infinite realities happening simul simultaneously at once. So just because I say it's a Mandela effect and you say it's not doesn't mean it's not. So it, a Mandela effect is when you have a 100% memory of something being a certain way. And when you look at it now, it's never been that way. So, um, uh, you know, I'm going to make a video about that too. I'm going to make, I'm going to release a whole list of videos of, uh, sorry, a whole list 
of Mandela effects that are 100% changes. I have a whole list right now on my phone. I got like 50 to 100 probably. They're all 100%. I'm going to release them soon. And uh, there's other ones that I haven't mentioned. And um, yeah, stay tuned for the Lost Island of Costa Rica. Like I said, I depart on May 12th. Um, I'm going to release at least four or five videos on the series. There's so much residue out there. If you guys, you know, do any research or if you find anything, leave it down in the comment section. I will be adding you in the Lost Island of Costa Rica video series that I will be making, a uh, documentary also. Um, I'm actually going to go visit a landmass that used to be an island in another reality, the Costa Rican island, the island nation of Costa Rica. is no longer an island in this reality. And um, that's just, it's, it sounds bizarre to even say it, but you know, I've known about the shift for about two years now, and wow, I'm excited to go visit this place. I cannot wait. I hope you guys can um, stay tuned for that. And um, you know, if you have, if you guys haven't watched it yet, I made, I went to ancient, uh, sorry, I went to Egypt <laughs> uh, two, two, three months ago already, and I did a documentary out there uh, on the Mandela effect, Mandela effect changes in ancient Egypt. So I'll leave the link down in the description so you guys can go take a look at it. Um, as well as my South Africa documentary on the Mandela effect, which I visited, I visited Nelson Mandela's prison where people believe he died. I did a documentary on that, and I'll leave it down in the link, uh, description, the link. And uh, yeah, so the next documentary I'm working on is The Lost Island of Costa Rica. And um, I'm not sure when I'll be releasing the Costa Rica Mandela Effect videos, but I've had no time to make it. And you know, these videos, they're not easy to make. So I'm just giving you guys an update uh, because I know I've been away for about two weeks now. I haven't posted anything. Um, but yeah, so I'll be departing uh, next week, May 12th. And if you guys would like to stay, uh, you know, in tune with me or up to date with me, um, you could go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I'll leave uh, my Instagram account in the link below. You could keep, uh, you know, I'll be posting pictures there of my Costa Rican uh, island, so, uh, Costa Rica trip, um, and uh, you could keep up to date with there with me. And yeah, well, that's pretty much it. Just keeping you guys updated. And uh, there's another Mandela effect that's blown my mind recently, and um, I'll be working on a separate video for that. And it has to do with, uh, I'll go ahead and just say it right now. It's the uh, Bumblebee tuna can. Uh, the Bumblebee tuna can. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm going to ask you guys a question. What do you re remember their slogan being? What's their trademark, their their motto, or their uh, catchphrase? Uh, if you you know, I remember there being a catchphrase on the, uh, the cans, the Bumblebee tuna cans, and um, you guys could go ahead and think about it. And if you already know it, I mean. I remember it was uh, Chicken of the Sea. <laughs> it used to say Chicken of the Sea on the top of the Bumblebee tuna cans. And that's not the case anymore. Now, if you go in, uh, go ahead and uh, Google a Bumblebee tuna can, uh, Chicken of the Sea, if you, you know, type that search in, now what you see is a Chicken of the Sea tuna brand with a mermaid on it. It's crazy. <laughs> you see a mermaid on a Chicken of the Sea tuna can. I've never seen that brand in my life, so that's that's a Mandela effect for me. I've been trying to search for so much residue. It's so hard with some of these Mandela effects to even find reality residue because it's like the Matrix just like wipes everything out. Like uh, on some of them, some of them you can find reality residue very easily, like the uh, Uncle Sam's hat. There's so much residue, it's crazy. But there's there's some Mandela effects where. You won't find like no residue whatsoever, so it, it totally feels like you're like, like in the twilight zone. Like you almost feel like you're going crazy, but you know you're not because you have a 100% memory of it. But uh, yeah, so yeah, Bumblebee tuna can does not say no longer say chicken of the sea on it. Uh, I'm gonna make another video, separate video on that. And uh, yeah, so uh, with that said, I uh, hope you guys can stay tuned uh, with my lost island of Costa Rica coming soon, and I'll talk to you guys later. RS out, peace.